And those triple digit temperatures again are heading your way. We now have CBS 410's Ashley Claster live in West El Paso to talk about the symptoms of heat stress that you need to watch out for this week. Yeah, Patty, it feels fantastic out here right now, but starting tomorrow, you can expect triple digit temperatures for the rest of the week. Heat stress can lead to heat stroke and heat exhaustion. You sit in the sun and you will cook. Adam Tidmore knows the brutal El Paso heat far too well. I live on the street and so this is what we do. He searches for the perfect spot on days like this. I'm right here because there's shade, obviously, and it's it's cool and there's a breeze coming by five feet that way. <laughs> Forget it. A Las Palmas ER doctor says the Sun City sees a lot of heat related injuries. Heat related injuries in the United States account for about five to six hundred deaths per year. So this is a very common thing that can send a lot of people to the hospital. It's more common than floods, tornadoes, all those things combined. He says if you've lived in El Paso a long time, your body can acclimate to the heat. But if you've been gone for a while or we get a big heat wave, it can sneak up on you. El Paso is tricky because you don't sweat as much here because of the dryness and so we oftentimes don't notice how much water we're losing and how dehydrated we're getting. He says preparation is key to avoid heat stress. Symptoms include excess sweat, faster heart rate, nausea, headache and fatigue. This UTEP senior skateboards to class. It'll save me 10 minutes from my car to my class. That can help me a lot. I had a meeting in this building, but I drove from my other building to minimize the amount of time I had to walk. Tidmore has tricks to keep cool, like drinking 14 cups of water a day. What me and another friend do is we put ice on our chests. And we lay we lay down, we put ice, we take turns putting the ice on our chest. Bag of ice. The doctor tells me El Pasoans should prehydrate before stepping outside and of course wear sunscreen, loose fitting clothing and hats. Chief Meteorologist Sandra Diaz is in the Forewarn Weather Center. Sandra will have the forecast after the break. Now